is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Slab Train. Welcome back to another episode of Forza 1000, or Road to 1000 Club, anyways. But, uh, yeah, so today we are doing the Hennessy Venom GT, guys. Now, this thing is a pure monster. I cannot stress enough how badass this car is. This car is just ridiculous. Now, we're going to need some aero packages on here to keep this thing actually on the damn ground and able to control because this thing will get squirrely real quick thankfully we oh what the hell i don't even have them on we're gonna put on as much things as possible we're not even gonna reduce the weight because this thing is 1200 horsepower stock so um this thing is very fast and some crazy motherfucker out there requested this thing so we're gonna get this thing going here now as well too um this is posted a little bit later in the week from when it's going on but uh fours of five E3, big things coming for Forza 5. Now, um, I'd like to, I'm probably not going to do a breakdown trailer for it just because, I mean, everyone else is going to be doing it. You know what I mean? There's no need to do a breakdown trailer. You guys have already seen the trailer. If you guys already, if you guys haven't, just Google Forza 5 E3 press conference and you'll see the whole thing. But they went all out. They had a McLaren P1 there. Holy shit, this thing sounds ridiculous. Oh, oh my god. All right, we got, <laughs> we got six things to do here skill points. Uh, six signs, drive from Clear Springs to Finley Dam, great drifts, speed trap. At the top of Finley Dam, okay. So let's just go here, and we'll just try to do a bunch of shit on the way there. Oh my god, this thing is just a handful. I'm going to be getting my skill points real soon doing all these burnouts and drifts. Okay, I'm in fifth gear already, oh, this thing is ridiculous. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Oh my god, dude. Okay. Okay. Settle down, cowgirl. Alright, so we got pretty much about seven grand. Now, this thing is just a monster on the road. Like, to, to really handle this thing is ridiculous. What did I just hit? Did I just hit a sign? Uh-oh. Arrow package, help me! Oh. What is this one for? Is this the signs? Yeah, it is, too. I gotta get another sign. We're gonna look on the side of the roads here. Where are you, signs? Uh oh. Uh oh. Appreciate it. Where are all the damn signs right now? Is that a big sign? I can't even hit that thing. I can hit this thing, though. That's considered a sign. It better be, anyways. There we go. I was like, what? Dude, I need another damn sign. Yo. There's no signs on the side of the roads. Holy shit! I am flying right now. Oh my god, yo, 220 in this bitch. We're gonna need to break like ASAP. Uh oh, that'll do it too. <laughs> All right, so we have 2,800 skill points right now. This thing does not break very good. I'll tell you that right now. I gotta get all these damn signs. Does this count as a sign? Yes, it does too. Perfect. So that's three. Ah, this thing has so much throttle control, it's not even funny. Like, you really gotta like just kind of work the throttle on this thing. One. Oh, five. Need one more. That's a sign right there. Two of them. I don't know how many I'm gonna get, so we're gonna just go after this one. Oh, mama. Let's do it. Let's do it. Alright, I need some more skill points, so I'll tell you that right now. I got a near miss on that one. Come on, man! Don't lose it! Alright, that should be enough. That should be 7,000. Alright, so let's get to some comments from uh, another few videos. Now, as I said, leave your topics or comments in the bottom, guys, and I'll be sure to answer as many as possible. Oh, shit, my bad. I'm looking at my comments. Alright, I actually enjoy Forza Horizon. I think it would be pretty cool for them to release a second one eventually. I like the more relaxed, open world feel in the game. I could just turn my Xbox on and cruise around for fun. That's what I like about it. And that's from Steve O the Man 16. That's not really a comment. I did see it in one of my videos and I just kind of had to talk about it because really, Forza Horizon to me is like the Call of Duty series. Now, Call of Duty, you know, you have, uh, you have Infinity and Treyarch making their game. Oh! Oh man, 
you have Infinity and you have Treyarch making their own games once every year, and I think that's kind of what um, Forza Horizon is to Forza Motorsport. And I'm wondering if going forward that you're going to see Forza Horizon on the big boy console. You, you, you might see it on Forza 1, I mean on Xbox One, right? So you never know, it's a possibility. Um, it would be cool to them to be actually bringing out one of these once every year just to kind of keep us entertained, you know, happy. But if they do do that, they need a bigger map, they need more cars for Forza Horizon because... Really, I mean, the Xbox One is going to be completely massive. Um, they're going to have to top Forza 5, which is looking absolutely fantastic. So, um, yeah, I mean, I would I would love to see them do another one. I really would. Uh-oh. Appreciate it. I'd love to see them do another one. Um, obviously, they know what they need to fix now, right? They've, they've seen the complaints. They need tuning. They absolutely need tuning in the next Forza Horizon if they do bring it out. And I'm wondering what they'd call it, actually, too. If they'd call it Horizon 2, would they call it um, Forza Morning? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hold on. We got to go back here. Forza Daylight. You know. Forza, Forza Night. Forza Afternoon. You know. <laughs> Who knows? But, yeah. So, I mean, I understand the concept. It's nice to just, to just cruise, man. Like, after playing Forza 4 for so long... You know, you just want to come on here and just chill. And they need traffic if they're going to do an open world game again. They need traffic online. Excuse me. Appreciate it. That's a big thing that they're going to need to have. So, we'll have to wait and see. Now, let's talk about Forza 5. Um, Forza 5 is... It's looking good. Um, the E3 press conference is looking very nice. And um, on top of that now... What am I doing right here? Perform one great drift. Oh, I got this. Ah, uh, yeah, yo, look at that. Coming in clutch when needs to be. But yeah, so... Oh. But yeah, so, the press conference, um, they went out all, they went all out. Excuse me! Appreciate it. Yeah! But yeah, they went all out on the press conference. Um, they actually had a McLaren P1 there. Looked awesome. And the gameplay they finally released. They finally released some gameplay. And, um... It looks good. There was a few people that were hating on it, I saw. And to me, it's I was I was talking to Mafioso about it, and it's too early to tell whether or not it looks arcadey or not. And I was watching it, and if you look at that, it says that it's going to be advanced simulation. Now I don't know what that means compared to Forza 4, but I'm assuming it's gotta be better, right? I mean it's gotta look better, it's gotta play better, it's gotta feel better. So, Advanced Simulation is going to be pretty cool. Um, who knows what they're going to do, but as I said, it's too early to tell. It's too early for people to get in, uh, their panties in a bunch, say, and freaking out over it. Because really, we've only seen one race. We've only seen that. And that's it. You cannot base all your thoughts on one. And first, as soon as I seen it, I was like, oh my god, this looks a little arcadey, right? I couldn't really tell. It, it, was, it was very hard to tell if it looked arcadey or not, but... I mean, nonetheless, it looked a little bit arcadey, and I was kind of like, "Hey, what's what's going on with that?" Right? I mean, it looks looks a little weird. It doesn't look right, but it's too early to tell. Um, I think going forward, they're gonna make it look good. They're gonna they they better have tuning. If they don't have tuning, I am done with Forza. I swear to you, if they don't have tuning, so um, it should be a magnificent game. The visuals look absolutely stunning. They have that new drive guitar where. Um, it actually plays for you when you're not there. It plays for you when you're at school or work, and you can come back and get money um, for not even for not even being on your damn console, right? So I mean, it actually um, it, it kind of looks at the way you play. So if they're looking at me, they'd be saying, "Oh, slap train! You know, you hit about 95% of your walls. Um, you go off course about 98% of the time. You're gonna be making lots of money when you're not here, right?" So. It just kind of looks at stuff like that. It looks at your clean passes. It looks at uh, how aggressive you drive. And it looks at a lot of stuff. So that actual drive guitar gets filtered into uh, what's called like the cloud or whatever that they're using. And that is going to be able to, um, I guess, kind of encrypt the Forza AI with all of that stuff. So everybody's driver's AI is going to be very, very intelligent. They're going to be able to... Um, oh my god, here we go. Oh! They're going to be able to think the way we would think. And that is very cool. It's very neat to see the AI drivers react to what we do. 
and um, be able to actually take on that into a really cool new role. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, set a speed trap at 200 mob at the Finley game. Like, are you kidding me? I was just there. Oh, okay, never mind. This is right, right here. Perfect. Did these in perfect sequence. Oh, excuse me. I gotta hit 200, sir. Out of my way. All right, here we go. Oh, shit. 160. Appreciate it. Excuse me. I gotta get through, man. I don't got a lot of time. Come on, Venom. You can do it. Not by that. Not by that either. Appreciate it. We got a little stretch of road, yo. Nail it. 90. There we go. We got it. 220. Woo! My eyelashes are... Oh, my God. Yo, here we go. What's his last one right now? Top speed for two... Oh, my God, yo. 250 for 10 seconds. Yo, we got to get this way over here. Actually, is there a closer one? I'm going to need like a full set of... Yeah, we're going to have to go here. And then we'll hit the top speed from there all the way down. And we should hit it. Oh, my God, dude. Sorry. We should hit it. So it should be good. All right, gentlemen. We are about to embark on a top speed journey. It's going to be incredible. 250 for 10 seconds, man. Imagine if you actually hit that in real life. It would just be absolutely crazy. And then we'll get all of our medals for this car. We'll be done with this crazy thing, yo. Like, just having this thing in real life would be the biggest head turner I think I would ever see in my life, yo. Just hearing this thing rip down the road. But, I mean, at the same time, cops would be all over this thing, right? I mean, I don't know how cops feel about exotics, but I don't think they'd be too happy about seeing a Venom. <laughs> All right, there we go. Quest for 250 miles an hour. Yeah, let's do this. One of the fastest cars ever. There we go. Whew. I think this spoiler is going to really not help me too much, but we'll see. Man, like, in order to... Oh, fuck off. Come on. Dodge and weaving, you know. Dodge and weaving. I know this thing can hit it, but I don't think it's going to hit it with this spoiler, though. I think that's going to be a big problem. 242, 3, 4, 5. Come on, man. Son of a bitch. I'm not going to be able to hit it with this spoiler on. Unless I get a little bit extra speed boost from this ramp. 49. Here we go. This is it. 252, 253, 4, 2, 1, and we got it, yo. Woo! Alright, gentlemen, thank you guys very much for coming by today. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. It makes me feel good and sad. So thank you guys very much. It's your boy, the Slap Train. I'm out. Peace.